took a look at the project and I thought that was a really novel idea to have individual buildings, man caves with RV ports next to them. I think that we're blessed that we live in an area of the country where we have the flexibility to try new ideas. And I just think it's great and I just want to um, say God bless you and God bless America. I think this project is so brilliant and so unique. And when Ryan came into the, the office and said what he wanted to do, I said, man, we have a piece of property that's surrounded on all sides by BLM land. There's not another piece of fee simple land between here and there to actually build on and compete with this project. Ideally suited for people that want to come out and use the desert, have a place here, be able to peel out out of their razors or their jeeps and go right out into the desert. Fits a niche in more than one way. It is the only RV park that I know of where we can have an RV type of use that has this open recreational use right around you. Lake Havasu City has very little lots left and this is a very novel idea to have man caves and uh, RV pads where you can come in and park your RV next to your man cave. None of this would be possible without our team at Riverbound. This is a, a team that comes in day in and day out and really puts their blood, sweat and tears into this. Everybody here from this team is just fantastic. Jimmy, Eric, Dan, Mr. Deloney, Mr. Colvert, Katie. I want them to be even more recognized than myself. I appreciate all the kind words from all the speakers, everybody coming up and the recognition. Um, this project is, you know, pulling us. You know, we, we come in effortlessly and accomplish quite a bit day in and day out. And uh, we are obviously very, very big believers in it. We're very excited to see, uh, you know, what, what this project evolves into and where it's gonna, you know, gonna take us.